Hey guys, Eamon Cushing here with Cushing Exterior Cleaning. Today we're doing a job with crown paper sealing and we're doing some paper sealing today. So we got a small driveway here, about 300 square feet, super tiny job. Uh, but I'll show you kind of what we're dealing with here. We have algae growing right here, roots. Uh, there's a lot of weeds and stuff in between the gaps of these papers. Um, there's some mold on the walls over here, there's some mold. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to spray our SH down uh, and it's going to help kill some of that mold and algae. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take the surface cleaner and we're going to go clean this thing. Uh, and then after that, we mix our sealer, we seal it, uh, and we're going to get it looking super nice. We're also going to do the gutter all the way down to the storm drain. So you'll get to see how a paver sealing job works today. Um, I mean, it's so cool to see the night and day difference that's going to be coming to these pavers. So, guys, enjoy the video. Well, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. This is Eamon Cushing with Cushing Exterior Cleaning. Uh, so right here, I'm spraying my sodium hypochlorite mixture down. I got it at about a 50-50 mix. So coming out of the X-Jet, we're probably running about a 1% uh, sodium hypochlorite mixture. Uh, not too bad so i'm spraying that on now watering the plants i don't want to kill anything here um, we're gonna let that sit now we're gonna let the solution sit for about 10 minutes we don't want it to dry or else it'll start to oxidize especially on the walls and stuff uh, so we're gonna let it dwell here for about 10 minutes kill the mold and algae and we're gonna hit it with a surface cleaner let's go so we are coming in hot and heavy with the whisper wash ultra clean surface cleaner and it is just washing away all that mold, all that dirt, all that algae. This thing is incredible. I mean, I definitely highly, highly recommend getting a good surface cleaner. This one ran me about $600. You can find some for $200. You can find some for $300. But, I mean, if you invest in a good brand, you're going to get jobs done a lot faster. And you're going to do them a lot better, too. So here I am going down the gutters. Uh, he requested to get these clean. Some of those rust spots were not coming up. I went over them multiple times. Uh, someone actually mentioned in a recent video uh, to get uh, this F9 groundskeeper chemical. And I think that might do a really good job removing some of that. Uh, or, I mean, even just a rust remover. But I'm going to look into getting one of those and try that. So here I am coming in with the wand. Got that super clean and coming back just to try to get this up. But the homeowner was really happy. He, he thought it looked a lot better than when we started. Um, so now I'm just gonna rinse everything down, water the plants again. When you're using SH, you wanna be really careful with plants, flowers, uh, because it will kill them. So you just really wanna dilute everything down, water your plants, just really be on top of that. You can't water plants en like enough, so. Um, this is just super satisfying. Watch that dirt come right down. These pavers are gonna look so good when we're done with them. Uh, really the hardest part about a paver sealing job is the prep work. So you really wanna make sure to rinse everything super good because you don't wanna seal dirt on top of a paver. That's probably the worst thing. Sealing dirt, sealing sand, um, sealing grass. Like prep is the most important thing when it comes to paver sealing and you wanna make sure those pavers are nice and clean because whatever you leave sitting on top of those pavers is going to be sealed on those pavers for the next three years. Uh, so if you're curious about the type of sealer we're using, it's called Orca Sealer. Uh, it's a really, really good product. It's water-based, and that is the type of sealer you want to use in Florida. We have a very subtropical climate, which means it's very humid. Uh, pavers are always wet. Uh, you don't want to use an oil base because those usually come out very cloudy. So we use a water base. And another benefit to doing that is I don't have to wait for the whole driveway to dry before applying it. Um, so this actually goes a long way. Comes in a five gallon bucket, usually spreads to about uh, 20 gallons worth of liquid. So this stuff is incredible. Uh, and we do two coats just to make sure everything's really good. And we also do a flood coat, uh, which means it really gets into the gaps and everything. I didn't need to sand this job. The gaps were not too big and I didn't wash away much sand that was already in the cracks. 
Um, so what this sealer is going to do is it's going to bring out the color of the pavers uh, so that you're really going to see a lot more of the browns that you couldn't see before. Uh, and you're also going to have the pavers protected for the next two and a half, three years about. So to protect it from mold growing, protect them from getting dirty. Uh, I highly recommend getting sealer if you have pavers. People who don't get their pavers sealed end up with very, very dull and dry pavers. So that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, this pay, the pavers look white here, but they're gonna end up drying clear, a little shiny, and the color is gonna pop. So hey YouTube, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.